Hey, Chad with Amerizon Wireless. Today I'm going to show you what comes in the box when you order a Vertex Standard 451 two-way radio. So let's open up the box on our Vertex radio. And directly inside the box we have an antenna. I'm going to go ahead and take this antenna out of the bag and set it aside. Now you have another brown box inside the larger box and this is where you're going to find the body of your Vertex 451. The 451, by the way, is an analog radio, but it's a high quality radio as far as being waterproof and rugged. It's good for businesses that work outdoors or indoors, small businesses to large businesses. This is also a good radio for schools and other industries that want something that's reliable, that's gonna last and be a great two way radio. So let's take out the body of the radio. If you'll notice on the radio, the side, you've got your push to talk button, and then you've got two buttons below that, which are programmable buttons. Top of the radio, you've got a button which can be used for an emergency button. This can also be programmed. And on the side, you've got your accessory port. Something really important with your accessory port is that this radio is not completely waterproof until you put the cover over your accessory port. And let's go ahead and dump these screws out. I want to show you. This accessory port cover has a rubber grommet around the cover as well as the screws that you can see there. So it's really important if you want your radio to be fully rugged and fully waterproof, this cover needs to be on top of the port and the screws need to be down in there nice and snug. And then it's waterproof. So we're going to take out the battery and complete the assembly of our 451 here. To put the battery on, you simply put it on the radio, push down, and then it slides up until it clicks. To remove the battery, there is a slide right here. You pull this down, and the, radio comes off, the battery comes off the radio. So let's put the battery back on, and we're going to fully assemble the radio now. Take the antenna, line up the threads, and turn it clockwise until it's snug. No need to overturn it. Once the antenna is snug, it's good to go. Now the clip, which is used to clip the radio onto your pocket or your belt, is not completely necessary unless you want to clip it onto your belt or your pocket. You can leave it off. But if you do want to put the clip on the back, which I suggest, line up the metal tabs and push down. Now this is, I'm, I'm pushing pretty firmly because it's not easy to get on, but once it's on, it's going to stay on for you. It's not going to come off unless you want to remove it, in which you can get that little metal tab down there, pull back on it, and remove the clip off the radio. Now, inside the box, the only two things that we have left are the charger plug and the charger. So let's open up the charger inside this anti-static bubble wrap they put on here. Let's take it out. And I want you to notice inside the package you have something called a spacer plate. This is not always going to be used. Uh, this video we're also going to show for all of the 450 models, the 450 series, but in all the Vertex models, some of the batteries require the spacer plate and some of them don't. And to find out which ones do, open up the user guide here. You see it's talking about the spacer plate there? Let's open it up further and you'll see a chart. Vertex standard authorized batteries, and it tells you which ones require the spacer plate and which ones do not. So useful piece of information there. Plug the plug into the back of the charger before you use this radio. Make sure the radio is lined up and fully seated in the charger. Charge it 12 to 14 hours and you'll be ready to use your Vertex 450 series radio. 